Now, welcome viewer uh, to this episode of Miller's Bay Nexus, where we are going to train you on various aspects of modern beekeeping. Let us look at the various products that we get from the bees. Most people or many people uh, know honey or perhaps and one other honey and wax as the products that we get from the bees. Now, we have six products that we get from the bees. The cheapest one that I'll start with is honey. We have honey, and honey is the food meant for the bees. And as I always say, we go and steal that food meant for the, for, for the bees. In a more detailed uh, perspective, you will see the various components. That bees, when they make honey, they use various flowers. And you know that you can go to the hospital and you are told take honey you know and so on and so forth honey does not go bad honey can stay even up to 400 years so that is the first product and you know how it is being used we can use it as a sweetener we can use it as food we can use it as medication uh, it's an anti-inflammatory you have a cough you take a, 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 a tablespoon of honey and and the cough goes away so it has that medicinal value so that is the first aspect Two, we have the beeswax, which of course most of you know. You have, uh, we have seen, we have candles in our houses. They are made out of the beeswax. We have uh, the shoes polish. They use the beeswax uh, in making the, the shoes polish. Uh, those that we use to in our leather sofa sets, uh, those sprays. There, are, there is wax used in there. Leaf balms. They are made out of wax. So wax is another is the second product that we get from the bees and those are the uses product number three we have what we call the bee, uh, we, we have what we call pollen pollen is stored and it can be harvested and used as food and pollen is good uh, for those if you do some research it is good for women good for women uh, those especially who have problems uh, with the uh, menstrual circles and so on and so forth Number four, we have what we call the royal jelly. Royal jelly is food meant for the queen. In the other aspect, we have, we, we, you, you know the members of, uh, of, of a bee colony. The queen is the leader. The queen does not feed on anything else. She feeds on the royal jelly. That is why she stays longer and it is research proves and says that those who take royal jelly they remain young for a long time. It, it, they don't have wrinkles, you know, your skin is well nurtured and, and all that. That is the use of royal jelly. Then the most expensive product that we have from the bees, it is what we call the bee venom. Now bee venom is, a, is, is an area when you we, if, if you do some research you'll find that bee venom is seven times more expensive than gold we have a way that we extract it we have the bee venom extractors which has plates and the bees sting you know this when they sting there is that venom that they the they, they spew into you that's the one especially if you've been stung it is the one you say you are react you are you, you are reacting with it you swell and so on and so forth that is medicinal so bee venom basically is used for the medicinal values one it's used in the pharmaceutical industries uh top on on the list on what it heals is arthritis there are researchers that have, have, have been proven on on its healing uh, uh capacities or abilities on cancer breast cancer that was a, a research that was done in australia aids that is from the uh, the, the a, a university uh, in russia middle east they have they have those scientific uh, uh findings and then arthritis we've talked we've spoken about it now that is in the pharmaceutical industry now again b venom is used in the cosmetic industries 
in the cosmetic industries, we have big creams, uh, big venom creams. These creams normally are meant uh, for ladies. They are anti-wrinkles, anti-aging, so they apply their skins, they remain smooth and, you know, because it has the skin repairing properties. Another product that we have is propolis. Propolis is the sticky substance that the bees especially put, like here at the entrance, you will find that propolis is put there. That propolis, they use it as a detergent. When bees come in, they have to step on it to disinfect themselves. Sorry, it's a, it's a disinfectant. So they disinfect themselves and then get into the hive. The most safest and cleanest place that, that is ever guarded is the inside of the hive. So that is propolis. Where we have openings and air is coming in, the bees will seal those holes with propolis. Now this propolis is used as medicine. Some people chew, some people process it, and it heals uh, different uh, diseases. Now those are the bee products. Those are the products that we get from the bees. And each of them have different, uh, different ways of harvesting. In the entire beekeeping, there are new terminologies that you may find. One, we will talk about the apiary. Apiary is now where you're keeping your bees. That secluded area where you're putting your bees. It could be a structure like this. It could be an area that you've cordoned off. And that area specifically is meant for the bees. So that, we call it an apiary. Number two, we have what we, we will be using a colony colony in most cases or mo most of the times a colony is now the bee family a hive has a colony and in that colony we have three types of bees we have the queen we have the worker bees we have the drones so that is what makes up a colony and when we say that the hive has been colonized it means that that colony now the bees that particular bee family has come and has settled in the hive so that we will say that hive has been colonized then we will be talking about absconding absconding is the act whereby the bees get out of the of the hive for various reasons there could be various reasons why bees abscond one maybe safari ants have come in or some rodents they have come in or the bees have been disturbed and they feel that that environment where they are is hostile and therefore they move out of that, uh, of, that, uh, of that hive. So that is what we call absconding. Then we'll be talking about swarming. Swarming. Swarming means it's an act, it's a natural act that bees split themselves. Now this happens when we have several or the bees have, have become large in number you learn the, 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 the science, they have, they have become large in number in that particular hive. When there are very many, coordination becomes a problem. And when coordination becomes a problem, the worker bees will create other queen cells. The queen cells, in those queen cells, we, it means we are going to have new queens. When they do that, and new queens are going to emerge, now the older queen with the experienced worker bees, they will now swarm they will move and leave the younger uh, queens in that apiary, I mean in that hive. And when, you know, they will make a handful of, queen, of, of queens. The first queen to come out, out of the new queens that have been created, will find another potential queen in that hive, kill it, and then remain only one. In a hive, we only have one queen. Then, of course, uh, the rest of the terms of, uh, we, will, we will discuss when we are talking about the big, the big uh, keeping equipment, like the centrifuge machine that we use. We have the hive tool. Uh, we will show you the hive tool that we are going to use. The bee brush is there. And we have the honey warmer. We have the various aspects that we are going to share with you. You will talk about apiculture. Apiculture, it simply means beekeeping. 
apiculture. When we talk about apiculture, it simply means we are talking about beekeeping. It's another uh, cosmetic, sweet word, uh, romantic word for beekeeping. Thank you and continue learning with us.